Hello everyone, this is Eric Bach with NEI. Today we're going to be covering how to use the Trimble DA2 with Catalyst Centimeter inside of Trimble Teraflex. So we're going to start with your license manager. Inside the license manager, this will be whomever has the admin license. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you assign your Teraflex license. So in this case, I have a Teraflex license assigned to my email address. And we also want to have this Catalyst license assigned to the same email address. That way, when you log into Teraflex, that email address is called a Tremble ID, or for short, a TID. Uh, those TIDs match Catalyst and Teraflex. That way, it knows uh, which to use. If you mix them up, uh, you may run into issues. So what we're going to do now is we are going to switch over to the TDC 600. We're going to show how to set that up. All right, so we are on the Trimble TDC 600 right here, and we are going to start by Bluetoothing our DA2 to the TDC 600. This is an Android device. I'm going to hit the home screen here, uh, scroll from the bottom to the top till I find settings. And we're looking for connected devices. So I'm going to select connected devices. And then the first time we run this thing, we need to pair a new device. This should only need to be done once. So I'm going to go ahead, pair new device. Uh, I have my Trimble DA2. It's got a battery to it. I have it powered on. I'm going to select the DA2. It's going to start pairing. And it's going to ask me, do you want to allow access to your contacts and call history? I'm not going to set this up. I'm just going to click on pair. And then it shows up under currently connected devices and then it'll eventually show up under this previously connected devices. That's all we need to do here. Moving forward, you don't have to mess with the Bluetooth setup inside of the Android device with the DA2. All you do is power the DA2 on. It'll find it automatically. So now I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to get rid of that. And now I'm going to go run Teraflex. So I'm going to go ahead and run Trimble Teraflex right here. Now, first time you run this, you'll need to sign in with that Trimble ID or that TID we talked about earlier. Mine uh, was signed in yesterday, so it automatically just signs in for me. And then it's going to sync up, uh, look for new projects and things like that. So I already have the project I want to work on today. So now all I need to do is click on the menu icon. Those are the three horizontal lines at the top. Some people call that the hamburger icon. Call it what you will. You can click on that or you can swipe the screen from left to right. Either way. We're going to go down into settings. And what we want to make sure here is under this location service, the TDC 600 has its own built-in GPS. So we have the option to use internal. But in this case, we want to select that Trimble DA2. So I'm going to go ahead and select the DA2 to set it up. All right. Once the DA2 connects, it'll automatically push us back to the main setting screen. You'll see location, location service, Trimble DA2. Now, depending on how you have this DA2 mounted, you can mount it on a two-meter pole. That's what I have set here, the 6.562 feet. You can mount it on a handheld option. Actually, that's what I'm going to use today is the handheld option. So I'm just going to change this height. I actually have the GPS unit running outside sitting on the ground. So we're just going to set this to uh, zero. DA2 is our antenna type, and the measurement method is bottom of antenna mount. Now, if you are holding this in your hand with the new handheld module, you can just put in a height of what that's going to be. Um, like I said, I'm going to start with zero here. I'm going to hit the back button, and then uh, it automatically finds my Catalyst subscription information. So you definitely want to check that. If you see Catalyst free, that probably means you're signed in with a Trimble ID that is referenced or that doesn't have a Catalyst account assigned to it. And then for real time, we're going to click on the Trimble Corrections Hub. So that's kind of automatic. You don't have to set this up back in Trimble Connect or using the Trimble Teraflex desktop tool for ArcGIS. So that's kind of an automatic thing. Uh, and now we're just going to click out of this. We're going to go back into our, our menu icon here. We're going to click on location status. And we're just going to verify that the Trimble DA2 is working. 
So you can see at the top of the screen here, it says Catalyst VA2. It's telling me I'm currently getting five inch accuracy, horizontal, eight inch vertical, and I'm tracking 19 satellites. If I were to pick this up, up off the ground, I should be getting a little bit better position. Uh, you can see right now that the Trimble Corrections Hub uh, is using the RTX internet option. Uh, Trimble Corrections Hub consists of RTX satellite. So if you didn't have internet or, or yeah, internet connections, either via cellular or Wi-Fi, uh, it would use RTX via satellite. So you can use this with no connection, pretty much offline, and you'll get that, that high accuracy in the field. In this case, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so it's using RTX internet. And then the third option is if I was in a VRS now, or I should say a Trimble VRS now area, then it would automatically dial in and use the VRS now corrections. And you can see here I'm at three inches horizontal, four inches vertical. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to NEI or check us out on NEI GPS YouTube for more information and videos.